hey, uh, nice to meet you. You know, this is one of the uh, first movies I got to do a set visit for. Oh, really? So I went over to London and yeah. saw the big setup and everything that was going on. I was probably there running around behind the scenes. You somewhere. were there, and that's what I wanted to ask. What is it like to actually work on a big motion picture to make sure the actors get the magic right? It was phenomenal, and it was important that the actors got the magic right because uh, John Chu, the director, Ed Solomon, the writer, everybody had a vision that the magic on screen uh, could be as close to seeing magic live as possible. Uh, and that was my job, that was my role, and my role was if, if the actors had any questions about their magic scenes, uh, if they needed any help, just to tutor them and help them with all their magic scenes. So I was there on set for, whatever, 17 hours a day for four months. It was great fun and an amazing experience. All right, well, I told you I had a magic kit when I was a kid, yeah. so I love magic. Great. So let's let's see, what are we gonna do today? Okay, let's try something kind of fun and interesting. Okay, let's go. A lot of people wonder about mind reading. So I've got a deck of cards here, okay? And uh, here's the idea. You're gonna read my mind, and I'm gonna read your mind. It may work, it may not, I don't know. Now, I've got a deck of cards here, I'm gonna give them to you in a moment, but look, I'll show you that they are all different. This isn't a card trick as such, okay? It's not okay. a card trick. Uh, and it's important, uh, you give them a mix up. Now, a lot of people might wonder, oh, are the cards marked? I'll tell you how to, how to examine cards to see if they're marked or not. All you need to do is look down the end like this, and almost like a comic book, you look through, and if you see any discrepancies, that's how you know they're marked. So have a look in there, there's no discrepancies. I want you to just no. know that they're not marked, that's all. And look through there, no discrepancies, right? They are good to go. Good to go. Good to go. So take them, mix them up, go ahead and give them a good shuffle up. Okay, well I'll just do this. Come. Keep it simple, I don't really know how to shuffle. All right, that's okay. <laughs> You're learning right. stuff about me today. Okay, Let's so go. is that good enough? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So here's the idea, I'm gonna look the other way. When I look the other way, I'll go through the cards one at a time. When you see one that you like, you just say stop. You're never gonna okay. take it out, you're just gonna say stop. So okay. anytime you want, you say stop. Stop. There, that one. I need you to stare at that card for three seconds, two, one, stare at it, good, got it? Okay, mix them up, shuffle them up again. So okay. you didn't even take that card out, you're now mixing them up again. Now you're gonna do the same with me. I'm gonna think of a card, so hold them up so I can see them. Okay, just like that, or? Yeah, and spread them out, spread okay. them out. Just like yeah, that. Yeah, that'll do. There? Yeah. Just keep going? Cool, that'll do, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, now, okay, you can shuffle them up again, shuffle them. Okay, shuffle them. I'm never gonna take my card out of here, so go ahead and mix okay. them up, and okay. then I'll take okay. them back for you. Okay. So this may work, it may not, I have no idea, okay? So, uh, here's the idea, look at me, look at me. Focus on your card. The reason I got you to stare at it for three seconds is because now I want you to project it to me. Really try and project it into my mind. I'm gonna try and pick it up for me. Okay, good, just think about it, it's red or black, red or black, okay, good. Uh, you, believe it or not, even though you're a jolly, fun, outgoing character, you're actually pretty difficult to read. I'm, I'm not lying about that, so I'm not too <laughs> sure if I'm gonna get this right or not. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go with, oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I'm really not so sure. Let's go through them, okay. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go with this one, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna go with that for you. Okay, now you take the deck. Take the deck, okay. and I'm gonna project my card into your mind. You're gonna read my mind. When you think you've got the one that I'm thinking of, take it out, put a face down on your knee there. Don't show anybody. You're a jolly guy, but you know you're hard to read. No, <laughs> I'm using <laughs> yeah. your line. Thank yeah, you, yeah. I got a laugh from the gallery over there. Okay. Uh, just go with it, okay. go to instinct. Yeah, yeah. Put a face down there. Okay. Okay, just leave it like that so it doesn't fall. Okay. Good, all right, so, for the first time, name out loud, what was your card? It was the Six of Clubs. I think it was actually the Six of Spades. Oh, Six of Spades, that's right. Six of Spades, and it was the Six of Spades, not Clubs, right? No, it was the Six of Spades, it was. Now, I just, yeah, I get confused. Now, wow. you tried to read my mind. Mine was the Jack of Diamonds. How did you do? <laughs> oh, I hope this is it. Dude! What the? <laughs> no freaking way! Six of Spades. Okay. Jack of Diamonds. There you go. Magic. Now you see me too. Nice job. Good to see you Thanks, again. Man. Wow.